Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to install a filter inside of your Keurig water reservoir. Uh, I personally think Keurig should have included these water filters with the machine. We all know Keurig aren't cheap, but I guess because Keurig said it's not required to have a water filter, especially if you use clean purified water. But if you are going to use tap water, it is recommended to use water filter with the machine. All Keurig, I think, they come uh, with water filter system installed in, in them, so why not use it? Uh, I honestly was just using purified water because we have like filter system in our house, so I was just using purified clean water all the time. Uh, but uh, recently I got a comment from one of you guys on my scale uh, video that it made on this machine asking me about the water filter. So it got to my head that I should have included it since I made a review video on this machine over a year ago right now uh, so I went to Target and I got this kit that came with one holder and two filters it is super easy to install so I'm going to show you how to do that right now now like I said this kit came with one filter holder and two filters uh, they came in package like that I already opened one and I was using it this one but I'm going to show you how to install this you know brand new one um, first thing you're gonna have to open it These are charcoal filters that help remove impurities like chlorine from your water and things like that. Um, first thing you're going to do is soak it in clean, fresh water for five minutes. And now my five minutes are up. They want you to rinse this uh, cartridge for like 60 seconds, like one minute. So just run it under cold water for one minute. My one minute is up, so I'm gonna set it to the side right here and they want you to rinse this lower part from the holder. Just rinse it really quickly under water. This will have to be a minute. And this the holder I told you, they didn't tell you to rinse it or anything, but when you go to replace the filter, maybe after two months or so, you can wash it. it it's washable but I don't recommend putting this in the dishwasher uh, I really recommend just hand washing it now to put it together this charcoal cartridge goes right here you can put it first in the upper part of the holder and this lower part you can just squeeze it in and it locks like that let me show you how to put it inside the machine just make sure there's no water in the tank and you just have to line it up give it like a gentle push until it locks in place just like that and right now you can fill it up with, with water you can use tap water if you want and um, we can test it out Okay, now I like to run it with only water, no coffee, just make sure there's no key cup in here. Uh, so I run it for like 8 ounces a couple of times because I know there's old water stored in the uh, machine. Uh, so I just run it with water a couple of times before I make any coffee. Okay guys, so right now because my husband likes to get technical, he brought out his meter and he measured the water before filtration and after filtration. So I thought it's very interesting to show you guys as well the numbers. Just make sure the water is same temperature. So I made sure this uh, actually cooled down and it's the same temperature as this water. So right now, this is my tap water. I'm going to stick this inside. And the number you see, 175. So this is the tap water before filtration. Now this is my filtered water and you see the number is 147. So I guess it really works. Alright guys, so you should know that you should change this filter cartridge every two months and you still have to scale the machine every three to six months or whenever the scaling light comes on. Uh, some of you may know that I purchased an espresso machine that I really really like. I'm thinking about making a comparison video between the Keurig and the Nespresso. I'm not sure yet, but if you would like to see something like that, definitely let me know in the comments below. And leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!